I always say that Lawrence is the immigrant city. We will always have an accent. We are that entry point for the American society. The libraries are often the last democratic spaces in society. It's absolutely more than just a place where books are on a shelf. That's a very big and important part of it, but it's way more than that. It's a safe haven, for sure. This building definitely gave me a sense of it's okay in the way that I'm stepping, it's okay in the way that I'm going because the end goal, it's worked for others that look like me and have the same experience. So I must be doing something right. <laughs> the idea that the library would host lectures was why the White Fund was created. They wanted to make sure that we, as a working class city, as an immigrant city, that every now and then we pop our head up and think about the bigger things that are facing us. And I appreciate that the mentor network um, was also very clear as to the type of program they wanted to see. Anything that um, promoted diversity and inclusion, social justice, and we were like, well, the public library is the, is the place for those things, right? And, and so much of what we do promotes um, those values. Julia Alvarez. The first book of her that I read was in the time of the butterflies. But when she spoke to me directly, it was quite the experience. I mean, I cried. It's like, it's like if someone were to put a mirror in front of you and would have told you, this is what you're going to do. This is what you're gonna look like in the next 40 years. And it felt a sense of reassurance that someone has already done that and that I could do that too. I think it's important to say that it won't be politicians that move the needle on equity and, and race. It's gonna be the private sector. That the mentor network said, we wanna do this thing. It's important. If they can take the time and energy and resources to try to make this one change, why can't other businesses do that? I think that's gonna be what changes this in the long term.